Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Optivine mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. Now, if you don't know what this mod does, basically, if we go to this page, uh, here's what it does. So, it does quite a lot of things. Uh, if you summarize it, it basically just improves your Minecraft performance. So, you know, you can see all this stuff here. Um, but yeah, so, uh, if we want to install it, basically just follow these instructions. So what you want to do is go to the description and under downloads there should be two links. You want to click on both. Uh, one will just take you to the Optifine website, that's just where you download the mod. And the other one will take you to WinRAR, which is basically just a program you need to download to open the mod file. So, on that page you just want to select the version for your computer and uh, you just want to install that program so you know click next next and yeah so once you've got that program installed uh, you want to head over to the Optivine website and you want to look for Minecraft 1.7.10 and you just want to press download here so click that that'll take you to AdFly and you just want to wait five seconds okay then uh, <laughs> uh, after it's been five seconds you should come up with skip ad so click that then it will bring you back to Optifine, you just want to press download, so click that. Uh, now it may come up with this message, if it does just press keep and it should be downloading right away. So once it's downloaded you just want to get the file and drag it to your desktop like so. So once you've got the Optifine folder file on the desktop you're good, so you can close this. And uh, don't worry if it doesn't look like that, we'll get to that later. So now what we want to do is find our Minecraft folder, so to do that press the Windows key and R at the same time and that will bring up this run thing, basically this just allows us to search for files that are like uh, just basically a quicker way of searching for files so you basically just want to make sure it's blank and you want to just search for percentage app data percentage then you want to press OK and that will bring you to your roaming folder then you want to look for dot minecraft and it should be at the very top uh, if it's not just you know look for it on this list so go into that then you want to go to your versions folder and here you should have one folder you may have multiple folders but as long as you have one what says 1.7.10 you're good if you don't you just want to open minecraft and just run the latest version uh, which is 1.7.10 and then you will get this file so, uh, once you've got this file, you want to right click on it, copy, right click, paste. Once you've done that, you want to rename this file. So, right click on it, rename, and you want to rename this to OPTF, uh, short for Optifine, and you want to go into that. Uh, you can delete this, and uh, you want to highlight these two files. Right click, rename. OPTF again, uh, no capitals, just OPTF in lowercase. Once you've got that, you want to go to this JSON file, uh, should be at the bottom, right click on it, open with, choose the program, more options, and you just want to look for a program that can edit text, so like Word or WordPad, something like that. I'm just going to use Notepad, so click it. Now, basically, that's just going to open a bunch of code. You just want to scroll all the way to the top until you see 1.7.10, should be fairly easy to see. You just want to highlight that, click your delete button, and you just want to put in there OPTF, just like that. So no capitals again, file, save, and you can close that. So now we've set up the version, so uh, if we just go back, you should have a folder called OPTF, and uh, in there there should be two files called OPTF, and uh, then this should say OPTF. So. Uh, essentially what we just did there is made a copy of the normal Minecraft and we just uh, renamed it to the mod stuff and uh, this is basically just going to be where the mods installed so yeah uh, so go to this and you want to look for your WinRAR file should be at the top and you want to right click on that open with uh, WinRAR uh, should pop up there uh, if it doesn't press choose default program more options and you just want to look for WinRAR if it doesn't show up here either, you want to scroll down until you see look for another app on this PC. Just click that and you just want to select WinRAR. So once you've done that, you just want to click on WinRAR and that should open up the opt.jar. Uh, you can close this, so close that. And uh, straight away you want to look for a folder called meta-inf, should be at the top. So right click on that, delete and click yes. 
Once you've done that, you want to open Optifine with WinRAR, so right click on it, open with WinRAR. Once you've done that, you want to highlight any file and press Control A. This will just highlight them all. Then you just want to click and drag into the opt.jar and then just want to let go and press OK. So what we just did there is got the mod files and added to the Minecraft files. So you can close all this and you can also delete this. And uh, yeah, so you're sort of finished. Um, I say sort of because you still have to do something in Minecraft. So open Minecraft. Then you want to look at the bottom and it should say new profile. You just want to press that. You want to rename it. Uh, you want to name it, sorry, to anything you want. Uh, just keep in mind that this is going to be the profile that has the mod in it. So, you know, just name it something like mod or something. Uh, maybe like Optifine. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so once you've done that, you want to look for use version. You want to press that arrow and uh, you want to scroll until you see release OPTF. So select that. Once you've done that, press save profile. So now we have two profiles, one which is just running the normal version of Minecraft and the other one which is running release OPTF which is Optifine. So now if we want to play with the mod just select the profile which is which the mod is in and press play. Okay so now if we go into a world just create a new world if we press control we can see that it zooms in and uh, that's how you know it can Optifines are working. Uh, also, if we um, go into our video settings, video settings, and hover over something, we can see that it comes up with a few details about it. That's how you know Optifines installed. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, if it doesn't come up and you know the control function doesn't work, uh, please leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you and uh, fix your problem. Um, so yeah, uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you.